and that is what it feels like when I have a depression. If you want to try it, please don't. But if you are having a depression, this video is for you, my toilet people. Have you ever get the feeling of being left out alone and being constantly pushed back? Or maybe you feel a tremendous burden on your shoulder? Well, that means you're fucked. And let me help you to unfuck yourself. Having a depression is one of the worst feelings you will ever get. It's like you live in a rainbow, but you are colorblind. You feel everything back constantly hitting on you, and you cannot avoid it. One thing that you wish for is escape. You can feel the pain, the agony, you feel the demon inside you trying to unleash itself. And the worst thing is, you want to talk to someone else, but you can't. All you can do is sit down and mourn on your depression. The thing is, everybody has their own demon inside their body. And that demon will come out at least once in your life. You can try to tame it, but you can never stop it from unleashing itself. The most terrifying thing is, people don't realize what is happening to you from the outside. Meanwhile, from the inside, you are screaming with vulnerability and you are screaming for help. So generally, you are struggling alone. Almost 20% of the people in this world suffers from mental health problem. And yet, we still cannot find the cure of the depression. But I know the cure. So in this video, I will give you the cure of depression. To find the cure, we have to go all the way to the end. We are going to start from here. How to turn over a shit show into a good one? Alcohol? Drugs? Sure, you can do that to silence the chaos. And the chaos slowly grows into a rebellion. There's no way to mute the voice anymore. And then you take the hard way. Game over. Now, to find the cure, it's not from the outside. It's rather from the inside. Number one, admit to yourself that you need help. Let's start with something that most of the people are scared to do. Be honest with yourself. Everyone needs help, even for people who is in a good shape. So don't be so selfish to think that you can face the depression alone. Which takes us into number two. Speak your voice. The last thing people with depression wants to do is to pick up a phone to go and talk to somebody. But from my eyes, there's nothing to be ashamed of if you can speak to somebody about what is happening so freely and share your feelings. Talk to your family or your best friend or to a professional one. Now, to my favorite part is to stand out from your uniqueness, to turn over the disadvantage into something beautiful, to speak out loud your feelings without feeling trapped. You don't think about what is going to happen in a few moments, you don't think about what happened last night, what you think is now. I'm an 18 years old Asian boy and I've suffered from depression many many times and most of the time it grows into insanity. I never told anyone about it until I realized that I couldn't hold it any longer and I told one person, only one. Three years, I'm trying to tame the demon by myself and let's say I failed. I'm lucky that the demon didn't take over my mind. It is easier to tame the demon if you have someone beside you. You are not alone. Sometimes it comes to realization that it is okay to not be okay. This is our own story. This is our own uniqueness. Nothing is perfect. This is me. But other than that, you toilet people are amazing as always. Remember, don't be scared to speak up your voice. And I will see you all again in the funny paper. Peace.